Hey everybody, happy Father's Day, June 21st, Sunday, 2015. Thought I'd show you a quick video here of how I'm going to be making solar-powered drip coffee on the on the road uh, here in about four or five days when we take our vacation. So what I have here is Mr. Coffee. It's a four-cup coffee maker. And if you look here on the bottom... What's it show? 5.3 amps, 625 watts. I don't know if that'll focus, but that's the rating of this coffee maker. And I've got it plugged into a Harbor Freight 750 watt inverter. 750 watt continuous 1500 watt peak. And uh, all I'm connected to is the solar here. The van sitting in the driveway. I just brewed a cup, so or a, a pot, so I'm down to 98% on my battery right now. So let me pour this water in here, fire this thing up. It's hard to pour and hold the camera at the same time, if you couldn't tell. So, so there we go. It's a four cup. It takes about six minutes to brew four cups. So let's get this turned on. And the inverter just turned itself on, or the fan turned on. And off we go. So let's go over to the trimetric and see what this is doing to the battery bank. Still showing 98%. I've got full sunlight on the panels at this point. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Nice sunny day. So I'm down 3.8 amps from a full full uh, battery pack. 576 watts. That's a minus. So the rest is being made up by the solar panels at this point. It's a 650 watt coffee maker. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's what they're claiming. Solar 5.2. All right, so there's the battery power. It was at 13.2 float voltage and now it's down to 12.2 with uh, the coffee maker going. I don't know if you can hear it brewing in the background, but we'll let that go. Let's go back to the watts. It's 40 minus back to the watts minus 560 it's pulling out of the battery pack I checked all the wires I've got a about a 10 foot extension cord running from the um, inverter to the coffee maker I just have these boards underneath it because the van's sitting in the driveway and I'm trying to make it somewhat level and we got about a cup and a half now so far I'm going to stop this and we'll come back here in just a bit as this reaches its end of the of the brew and uh, we'll see where we're at. We're still pulling 547 watts on the on the battery pack or battery uh, bank right now. So I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. It's been just over five minutes. I've got three and a half cups in there. It's just about finished up. I just checked all my connections and wires. Right at the plug-in, I can feel just a slight increase in temperature. It's definitely not hot, but it is warm. I checked the same thing at the uh, plug-in for the inverter, and it's just slightly warm to the touch. Let's look at this as this thing completes. It's starting to finish up now. I can hear it showing 539 on the watts. As soon as it finishes brewing, this thing will kick down and it'll shut off. out there and 
inverter fan still on. That inverter fan comes on when it's pulling a pretty good amp draw off that inverter. It's off. The, the fan goes off when it's just in standby. Still waiting. Alright, it just shut off. The fan shut off and the the uh, four cups are done. It's about right at six minutes. So then the fan will kick back on and it'll, as the plate warmer plate comes on and off to uh, keep the coffee warm it'll it'll kick back on and off but now we're down to what are we down to 14 watts it just kicked back on and it'll just cycle as it tries to keep the pot warm but let's go back and see where we're at on uh, percentage 12.2 just kicked off again that's where the batteries were sitting after brewing four cups 12.6 And took about five amps. Actually, it took about three amps of power out of the batteries. We're down to 96. So it takes 2% of my battery capacity, which is 212 amp hours, 2% to uh, brew four cups of coffee, coffee in the uh, drip coffee maker with the, with the inverter. So I'm pleased with that. It'll probably take an hour or so at full sunlight on the panels to uh, replace that. I'm pulling uh, 200 watts of solar panels and they're just over 10 amps in full sunlight is what they put out. So there we go. 96%. Remember we started at 98%. So awesome hope you all have a happy father's day and a good work week and we'll talk to you later hey i just came back to show you this just been sitting here for a couple of minutes looking at the trimetric as i've been replacing the battery power back into the batteries after brewing the coffee i'm up to 13 volts on the batteries and this is of course it's the green light up here indicates that it's pulling in power and it's charging Currently pulling in 6.7 amps from the solar panels. I don't have full sun on them or direct sun. It's kind of at an angle And we're still at 96% This is amp hours from full so I'm minus 8.5 amps off the battery pack capacity for uh, Brewing eight cups of coffee, so about four amps per four cup of coffee. Discharge, this is irrelevant. Pulling in currently 86.5 amps, or not amps, 86 watts from the panels. Like I said, it's not, it's not in the shade, but it's not direct sun because the sun's at an angle. It's nine o'clock in the morning so 87 watts six point nine amps of solar power thirteen point one so it'll be interesting to see how long it takes it to replace the battery power it used to make two cup two uh two pots of coffee see ya. quick update guys after the uh, coffee it's been just just a hair over one hour and i'm at 13.2 so the batteries are entering float mode minus 0.1 amps so i've replaced everything but 0.1 amps in one hour and i'm at 99 percent it's just about to flip to 100 percent uh, let's see amp hours from full Just a little over one half an amp to replace minus 0.6 Minus 0.5 on the power It'll kick into charge mode here in just a second
and I have unused power. So batteries are basically back up to par. It's just topping them off. 28 degrees Celsius on the batteries. Hot. 13.2. So 99%. Happy Father's Day, everyone.